Hey guys, it's Fallen over here with a review on the Desert Eagle, also known as the Deagle. If you guys have seen my Saiga 20k CQB review, you will know that there is a vote to um, see which gun I review next. Whether it's either the Scorpion mod or the P90 uh, supply case. Um, right now, the score is currently tied, so I might as well make a review. Uh, right now on the Deagle and let the vote continue because it's tied and neither side is really winning so I might as well do another re review this doesn't mean the vote is over it just means that um, I'm just gonna in extend the vote time and probably do the either the Scorpion review or P90 review next time because the score is tied and you know neither side is winning so anyways back to the re uh, Deagle review now the Desert Eagle is a fully automatic uh, pistol which is known for its extremely high power and extremely low rate of fire. It comes with seven rounds per magazine and um, it only has another seven rounds for a spare uh, meaning that it has a really low amount of ammo which is really not good compared to many other pistols. Um, it's quite similar to the Anaconda Black except it's more extreme, more damage, less rate of fire, it's just like a brother, except it's more extreme. Um, I find that the Desert Eagle is not good for normal games, such as like all permitted games. I find that the Desert Eagle is only effective in pistol-only games. So I find that you should never really bring a Desert Eagle to a all permitted game. And if you're going to be using the Desert Eagle for a pistol-only game, you should always bring a spare pistol because, for one, the Desert Eagle um, has a really low ammo count and two you can't always rely on it um, because the accuracy isn't really that great which I'll talk more about later what's unique about the Desert Eagle is that you can make it have 14 rounds per magazine and not have it reload at all which I will be talking more about later at the modifications so let's get on to the stats of the gun the power the Desert Eagle is currently the strongest pistol in the entire game. It is capable of doing a one-shot kill to the back of a Light Vester, which is extremely, extremely impressive. But um, in general, it does a two-shot kill to the front and a two-shot kill to the back. And um, yeah, it's really, really strong. And um, it's stronger than the Anaconda Black. It's currently the strongest pistol in the game. It's really powerful. But then, however, having such power, it lacks rate of fire. The Desert Eagle's rate of fire is just terrible. It's probably the worst rate of fire of all pistols in the game. Um, it's just terrible. It's worse than the Anaconda Black. It's just really, really bad. So, um, yeah, you just really have to watch out. And you have to time your shots. You can't just randomly spam like the USP or the G23. You actually have to time your shots and make every single shot count. Now for accuracy, the accuracy is on the uh, Desert Eagle is really really bad. It's worse than the Anaconda Black. It's worse than many other uh, pistols in the game. It's just really really bad. Um, the Desert Eagle should only be used for short ranges, not so much medium ranges because um, the accuracy isn't just that. It's just not good at all. Um, if you're gonna plan to use the Desert Eagle for medium ranges, then I guess you should just crouch and then fire. Um, if you're going to use it for long ranges, don't even try because you're not going to hit at all. Uh, I would only recommend the Desert Eagle for short ranges. Now for the recoil. The recoil of the Desert Eagle is actually quite high. Uh, but then, however, having such low rate of fire, um, the recoil doesn't really matter ta that much because once you fire, you can't shoot again for like another, I don't know, 0.5 second or somewhere around that. 
and the recoil will just come back down so the recoil doesn't really matter too much um, it is a automatic uh, pistol which so that means you can just hold on to left click but then I would totally not recommend hold, just holding on to left click because um, you will not hit anyone if you just hold on to left click you have to time each shot and make each shot count and if you just hold on to it most likely you're not going to hit the person at all so um, just be cautious of that now as for portability like all other pistols the desert eagle is very very light but then however compared to many other pistols in the game um, the desert eagle is slightly below average when it comes to portability um, but still it is quite portable now for modifications the only modification you can add onto the desert eagle is an extended magazine or a fast loader magazine now what i would recommend is the extended magazine 2 now as you can see i have an extended magazine 1 but um, I actually made a mistake. I actually wanted Extended Magazine 2, but then I just ended up buying Extended Magazine 1. So uh, don't copy my mistake. Now, the only reason why I'm telling you to do Extended Magazine 2 is because if you put one on the Desert Eagle, then you'll never have to reload. Um, if you put an Extended Magazine 2 on it, um, it, it will become 14 round per magazine, which is all the ammo the Desert Eagle will ever have. So um, if you're going to use the Desert Eagle, just use the Extended Magazine 2 and you'll never have to reload ever, which is pretty cool I guess. But then, however, the Extended Magazine 2 is quite expensive, I believe it's 400 GP, and Desert Eagle is about 650 GP I think. So altogether it's like 1050 GP, which is quite expensive for just a pistol. So here are my final words for this pistol. This pistol is only good for pistol only games. I do not like this pistol at all for all permitted games. It's just not that great. Um, you should always carry a secondary pistol, like a backup pistol, because you cannot use the Desert Eagle for medium or long ranges, so you might as well pack up another pistol. The Desert Eagle also has really low amount of ammo, so you should, again, you should always pack a secondary pistol. Um, just holding the Deagle is not enough. You need another one for backup. Um, let's go over the pros and cons of the, uh, the Desert Eagle. Pros, um, definitely it's damage, it's the highest of all pistols. Um, it's capable of one shot killing um, a light vester on the back, which is really impressive. Alright, so the game ends, I get 26 and 11, which is not really great, but then most of my um, deaths came from running out of ammo, so that probably means you should always carry a backup pistol just in case. Anyway, sorry for the interruption, back to the pros and cons. Um, another pro would probably be the Extend Magazine 2. Um, you'll never have to reload if you put one on. Um, now as for the cons, there are much more cons than there are pros. The cons would be extremely low rate of fire, slightly below average portability, low accuracy, um, low ammo count, which is probably the biggest thing about this gun. Um, it's just not really that great. Um, I would only recommend the Desert Eagle to people if you have extremely, extremely good aim because every shot has to hit if you're going to use a Desert Eagle. If you're really bad with aiming, then I would just recommend a USP or G23 instead. Um, so yeah, the Desert Eagle, in my opinion, it's an okay pistol, but I would much rather use a USP or G23. Alright, so X. T E or T Ninja X wants to know do you play any other PC games beside Combat Arms? Um, so far, no. I used to play uh, many other games such as Gunbound, um, what else? Guns, Maple Story, uh, some other games. Uh, but right now, the only game I play is Combat Arms. And um, yeah, I hope that answers your question. If you guys have any more questions, just leave a comment below and you might have a chance to be in my next video. See you guys later.